The annual Phoenix Gluten-Free and Allergen-Friendly Expo happening today at the Renaissance Glendale Hotel, running from 10 o'clock this morning till 4 p.m. But what you might not realize is going gluten-free can help all kinds of medical issues. Dr. Ken Muhich is here with us this morning to talk about uh, some of the things on how your body reacts to uh, items that are gluten-free. And But before we get into that, let's, let's talk about how do you know when you have a, a gluten allergy? Is it, is it considered an allergy or just no, a gluten issue? Actually, a gluten is a, a problem that um, is based upon wheat, rye, barley, and malt. And what happens is that people have an excess amount of reaction internally. But uh, the New England Journal of Medicine have found 55 different diseases that have actually uh, been directly related to gluten. Uh, and gluten sensitivity. And a lot of times people don't even realize it. It can be acute, uh, it can also be uh, what's called masquerading. They don't even realize uh, the problem that they may be having. So those were some of the things that, that you might run into. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I can see if it's kind of acute or such a small mm -hmm. thing. If you don't realize it and you just continue to eat this, the same things that you do, does it does it get worse? It gets worse and worse. As a matter of fact, some of the symptoms, we call them uh, medically uh, like the seven dwarfs, itchy, scratchy, sneezy, dopey, bloaty, headachey, all the different things. Uh, and people sometimes don't even realize it. Sometimes it's so serious that they end up uh, actually uh, um, in a hospital. That's how serious it can be. Wow. So there are things that you brought here that uh, people have possibly in their mm -hmm. cabinet not even realize it's gluten-free. You bet. Uh, first of all, we'll start out, and this is very, very interesting. People don't even realize some of the things that they have. Uh, rice, for example. Uh, so many different products that are now uh, actually marked gluten-free in such a large area. Keep in mind, uh, most uh, uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, chicken, uh, and fish are gluten-free. So you're not really restricted as far as diet. Now, Look we're at looking potatoes. at instant rice. Is it all rice? All rice, yeah. Okay. Brown, uh, long grain, brown, uh, excuse me, uh, wild rice, so forth and so on. Okay. Uh, you have different chips. Uh, you have uh, these gluten-free chips. Uh, also, corn chips, uh, they're uh, gluten-free. Okay. Just, just have to look right. at, look inside, make sure you understand what uh, the ingredients are. Uh, so many different things that we have: quinoa, and uh, we have the flax seed and chia seeds. A lot of people already put that on their uh, on uh, their salads. Uh, this says uh, buckwheat. This is not a wheat that has gluten in it. However, a lot of people uh, get concerned with that. Buckwheat is gluten free, uh, and uh, you have so many different products. As a matter of fact, look at this. You've got wine. Most wines are gluten free. Uh, that one is uh, also organic. Uh, you have ginger beer, uh, you have this one, here's a regular beer uh, that uh, is gluten-free, and apple cider, most apple ciders uh, are gluten-free. You know, we've been, uh, for 25 years we've been working with fibromyalgia patients in a clinic uh, and uh, very, very successfully. And one of the first things that we do is we take them off of all gluten products and it makes a world of difference. We've got patients that are eight years that are, are pain and symptom-free just How because it takes a change. Other? Literally within about a week to 10 days. That's how quick. Okay, so, all right, but it's not going to be something you, you will notice after having that meal. It, it will be something that just has to progressively change in, in your body, and you'll see as it. As soon as they start taking that out of their diet, they'll see some reactions. Really? Yes. Matter of fact, they'll be able to say, hey, I can't believe I can actually taste certain things uh, that I didn't realize I could taste because gluten does affect that. Here, let me take a look at what it. Is this, this? Is, yeah. this is just uh, flour and uh, water, and look, and see, that's the consistency, and uh, fibro patients, excuse me, uh, gluten sensitive and fibromyalgia patients can't digest that. And what happens is that they have a reaction uh, within their stomach, inflammatory. Let me show you one other thing. This is kind of fun. This will give you an idea as far as what <laughs> happens in the stomach, okay? That's all this is, is vinegar and baking soda. And we'll just put that in and you can see that's usually the reaction that they have within the oh. stomach as far so as... So that builds, doesn't get digested, and Correct. it creates that. Correct. Mm -hmm. Which causes a... Which, a, a yeah, anybody that's a, had any kind of gassy stomach. I mean, that's obviously what you're experiencing, right? right? Uh, bloating, like I say, the, the seven dwarfs. <laughs> Itchy, scratchy, sneezy, headachey, and some, like I say, so bad, like I say, they actually end up in a hospital. Wow. Are, are, is, are all nuts... Are they okay? Are they all gluten free? Most of the most or of maybe the nuts, seeds. Maybe seeds. Is seeds maybe all gluten free? Most of the seeds and nuts, yes, as long as they're not wheat, rye, barley, malt related. Okay. Gotcha. Those are the ones that usually uh, have most all the time have some sort of a, a sensitivity as far as gluten is concerned. All right. And so uh, again, that 
If you do have any questions about this, are you going to be at the Expo? Uh, yes, I'm an author at the Expo, uh, and uh, that's my book, Fibromyalgia, Falsehoods, Fakers, and Facts. And like I say, one of the most important things that we do as far as a program is to take them off of gluten, and it makes a world of difference for them. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so Talk very, very much. Thank you very much Look for coming on the show. Look forward to seeing them at the uh, Expo. Yeah, the Expo, again, is, is today at the Renaissance Glendale Hotel from 10 o'clock until 4.